And as we reported yesterday, the Fairbanks North Star Borough Board of Education and the uh, Fairbanks Education Association failed to negotiate a new contract through the mediation process. In a news release by the district, negotiations failed on one key provision, the longevity payment. It is to be arbitration, not mediation, that a renewed contract between the Fairbanks North Star Borough School District and the Fairbanks Education Association will hopefully be resolved. All but one provision was generally agreed upon by both sides, but they are now null and void until arbitration, all because of disagreement over the longevity bonus. Well, the longevity bonus was another way that the teams looked at to provide a compensation for those teachers who are at the top of the scale who no longer are eligible for this step in column. School district officials say FEA wanted the longevity bonus as a permanent provision occurring every year. Gail Pierce, spokesperson for the district's bargaining team, says teacher contracts are for one year, so multi-year commitments cannot be considered. For the district's proposal, that stipend is for the 11-12 school year. Uh, FEA wanted a permanent recurring um, $1,500. You know, it's like adding a new step on the salary schedule. The union says teachers who have reached the top of the salary schedule should have financial incentive to stay. The school district sees it a different way. They say it takes less time to reach to the top of the 15-step salary schedule. Therefore, teachers reach the top quicker and stay there longer, earning top wages. For example, comparing salary schedules from Fairbanks and the Anchorage School District, it takes 18 steps to reach the top of the Anchorage schedule. Even then, the top of their schedule pays out thousands less than the top salary in the Fairbanks salary schedule. Because we don't have an ongoing revenue stream from either the state or the borough, um, we're reluctant to commit to ongoing money. With the two sides still in disagreement, they will once again present proposals next Monday in front of Seattle arbitrator Richard Humphreys, who is expected to render his opinion by Tuesday.